Uganda, a country recovering from years of civil war. 80% of its population lives in absolute poverty, depriving most communities of education, food, health and sanitation, which is why Jenga has been drawn to this part of Africa. Jenga started life three years ago and concentrates the majority of these projects in the town of Mbali in the east of Uganda. Now this is Namatala, it's the biggest slum in Mbali where 16,000 people live, half of them under the age of 15. Now they average around 11 people per household. Now by household, I mean these huts that you can see behind me here and they live off approximately £1.50 a week. This is the heart of Jenga. They're currently the only organisation working here. Now what they've done is making a difference but with your help they can do so much more. Just to give you an example of exactly how far your money can go, £25 buys this 200 litre barrel, the chain to keep it in place so it doesn't get stolen, and the guttering as well. All of that, plus the transport costs, the installation costs, and why is that important? Because it collects the rainwater. So when it does rain, they get the cleanest water up here on the mountain. No, it's not perfect, but it's the best that they can get. And they'll continue to get it for as long as they can hold onto the barrel. Rather than just handing out money, Jenga empowers communities through sustainable development. For example, by providing widows with goats which can be bred, used for dairy produce or for consumption. 
They also hand out bikes, which reduce journey times to market and throughout the village. <laughs> we're just on the way back down now, as you can see, taking the quickest but bumpiest route, and we're being followed all the way down. Malembe! See, they will keep up with us all the way, this is the thing. <laughs> I might end up joining them if I fall off the back of this. Wow. It's been a good day. Really good day. For nearly a year now, Jenga have been sponsoring children to ensure they get a good Christian education. Never has that been more important than here in the village of Misoto, which is dominated by distilleries and has a reputation for alcoholism, which runs rife. The children here really had nowhere they could go, until Jenga came in and provided this safe haven. A Bible club on Saturdays where they can come for that Christian education and, of course, to socialise with their friends from the village. Now, the club itself is set here within the grounds of the school, where Jenga currently sponsors 100 children, and where you for just 50 pence a week or two pounds a month could pay for school fees and contribute towards uniforms, shoes, books, pens and a daily meal. Thank you to Jenga because it has given me knowledge. I can teach the young children, I can even teach a Sunday school, I can teach these elder women. Even as we move around the, the, the communities, we realize that so many people are really in difficult lives. Jenga has been incredibly blessed in everything that we've done so far, but there is so much more that we can do. There are many different ways that you can help to change somebody's life for the better. Please help us to make a difference in Uganda. Thank you. Who will care for orphans and for widows? And who will count the cost? And who will stand for justice? Speak against the pain And who will feed the hungry And who will heal the lame